Well, that is a billion, multi-billion dollar question, isn't it? And, you know, I think, um, look, we try and avoid speculation. I do not know. Um, obviously, there were vast sums of money at stake. Um, so, you know, the, the order for um, the vaccines was put through end of 2020, I believe. Um, and enough vaccines were bought by the UK government to ensure there were six doses for every man, woman and child in the country. So, you know, on one level, it is possible there was just this enormous purchase order. And that, that the key thing there is it was that purchase order was put through before the MHRA had actually approved the vaccine for paediatric use. So, you know, we'd stockpiled all these vaccines <laughs> without there being people to vaccinate at this point. So, you know, it is possible as simple as that, just a safe, a face saving decision. Um, I think, you know, I, I always feel like you're on slightly thin ice when you're talking about motives because we don't know the motives as a minister, ministers involved. What we do know is what we can see from the outside that the decision to vaccinate kids was a unprecedentedly unorthodox um, procedural decision. Um, we also, you know, as you, as you say, Lee, it, it was made effectively overruling the advice of the government's own advisory board um, is the first way in which it was unorthodox. We also know it was made without any ethical input. So we know JCVI did not consider the ethics of that decision and it appears that no one else did. I mean, that in itself, I, I, I sort of have to pinch myself and think, how, how did we get to a point in this country where a decision was made to give 10 million children a novel and it looks like increasingly problematic medical product without anyone being responsible for thinking about the ethics you know, was that a, the right decision? Was it ethically legitimate? But apparently that's where we were. Um, and I think the other way in which it was extremely controversial um, is just purely on a, did they need it? You know, was there enough clinical benefit to justify that decision? Now, of course, someone like Chris Whitty would say and did say there was, but actually when you read the detail of, you know, the, the decision um, to override the JCVI and then when you read the JCVI's decision for um, the younger age groups it's very hard to construe benefit and I think you get to a point where um, and again this, this won't be the right figure but, <laughs> but it's something like four million vaccine doses needed to be given to two million children to prevent a single ICU hospitalization. It's something of that order of magnitude. So, you know, where, where was the benefit 